여러분 안녕하세요. 저는 다지레입니다. 네, 만나서 반갑습니다. 박수, 박수. 어떻게 지냈어요? 진, 저는, 저는 너무 바빴어. 진짜 너무 바빴어. 너무, 너무 바빴어. 근데, uh, today we're going to be, well, me, I'm going to be talking about uh, a bunch of Korean books that I've been using to help assist me with my learning Korean journey. So, yeah. <laughs> That's what we're doing today. But before I jump right into today's video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe down below. And for the subscribers that just joined the gang, I know I've been inactive for like a month because life has been, I've been busy, like I mentioned. Um, I'm going to Korea to live, to teach. Ah! <laughs> That's how I'm feeling. Like, uh, and I just graduated college. So I'm like, uh, anxiety, anxious. But uh, aside from that, I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna tell you guys like in a later video what's up, what's going on, and yeah, but for today's video, we're just gonna focus on the books that I use to learn Korean. If you hear a bunch of noise in the background, the whole fam's home and we're loud, okay? So that's, that's that. So yeah, let's jump right into today's video. Hey. So. First things first, we're gonna talk about the basics. So I'm assuming that you know Hangul. Um, if you don't know Hangul, I recommend checking out these apps that I provided in this video up there. So be sure to click that link up there, okay? So even though, you know, Hangul can be a bit eh, depending on who writes it, because you know, there's like the, the computer graphics or there's like handwritten uh, Hangul. Either way, I think this book is really good. It's called Korean Script Hacking for Beginners, and it's by Judith Judith Meyer. Here we go, this book. In this book, it gives you basically a bunch of activities to help you familiarize yourself with writing out the Korean alphabet. Um, so there's about a total of five uh, practices for each uh, letter in the Korean alphabet. So like, ah, I would have to write ah right here, and then combine two letters. So I learned biuk which is buh. so this is ba, this is ba, and then towards the end they'll tell you oh to write a Korean vocabulary word, which is bap, so bap could be, um, bap is cooked rice or a meal, and then they give you a bunch of Korean sentences, and then you just have to circle uh, ba, so ba. And yeah, this is pretty um, standard. I think this is a good technique if you're like struggling with Hangul. They even give you these little uh, diagra diagrams to fill in with Korean Hangul. So yeah, this is okay in my opinion. I like using apps because it's on the go. I'm not trying to take this and on the train. But you know, to each their own. It's up to you. It's, it depends on your preference. Um, this book talks to me in Korean. Level one, I got this in Korea two years ago. Oh my God, it's gonna be two years since I've last been to Korea. But anyways, um, yeah, um, this gives you like the basics. So learn Hangul first and then jump into this because when I bought this book originally, I didn't speak Hangul. I mean, I said it. <laughs> I didn't speak Hangul. I couldn't read Hangul, okay. So uh, yeah, I, was just <laughs> I didn't speak Hangul. <laughs> Oh man, I need rest like badly. Anyways, um, once you cover Hangul, it's easier for you to uh, breeze through this book. I have a short attention span and I'm always wanting to like watch anime or something so I haven't studied in a while, okay. But anyways, they give you the basics from level one. They talk about, um, they tell you how to say like, 안녕하세요, 감사합니다. Um, they tell you what 안녕 means and 하세요. So 안녕 means well-being, peace, health. And 하세요 means you do, do you, please do, do do. <laughs> they give you little activities like this. So like when I first got this book, I, I didn't even bother. I didn't even know they had a workbook, like an all out workbook. So this is where this comes into play. So Talk To Me in Korean Workbook Level 1, they coexist. So when I go on the Talk To Me in Korean website, I listen to the podcast like each lesson. I fill out the little doodles that I learn and write some notes in my notebook. And then I jump into this. This is really helpful. I feel like this is a must. Um, 
To be honest, you don't really need to buy this book because they have the PDF files, uh, the free PDF files on your website. So I would recommend just getting this book because if you did, if you don't pay for uh, Talk to Me in Korean, the premium ship member, the premium membership. Oh my God, what is English? Um, you don't really need to buy this book either. But if you're not buying the membership, I would just use the PDFs and buy this book so you can um, fill out answers like to question quest to test yourself about what <laughs> you learn to see if you got it oh my gosh i haven't spoken in front of a camera in a while oh my god it shows it shows so yeah anyways they write down um korean vocab that you've learned during the first lesson and then you just translate it to what it means so like jeondamao is the polite way of speaking annyeong means peace haseyo please do slash have annyeonghaseyo is hello kamsa means gratitude hamnida is I am doing and kamsamnida kamsamnida whoa okay and then the the activities throughout this book they change which I like because again I have a short attention span so I'm like so this this workbook keeps you on your toes it's not as repetitive as most textbooks which I really really appreciate so in the back it says it gives you a bunch of categories that the activities focus on. So they have vocabulary review, writing, listening, comprehension, reading comprehension, and yeah. <laughs> so this is actually one of my favorite books. Okay. Um, one of my favorite Talk to Me in Korean books is this vocabulary book. It's called My First 500 Korean Words. Okay. This, this was amazing. Um, I haven't finished it, obviously, even though I said I was gonna finish it in one of my videos. I was like, oh yeah, now that I have time, I'm gonna finish it. I lied. Okay. So anyways, this book, I'm a huge vocabulary fanatic, especially when it comes to like learning new languages. I'm just like, oh, that's XYZ, that's XYZ. Ooh, Navi means butterfly, okay? So yeah, I get excited. Uh, this has helped me tremendously. A lot of people who study uh, languages in general, they always say like don't focus on uh, vocabulary first, but I think it depends on how you are as a student. I like vocabulary first because at least if I hear keywords, I'm able to grasp what we're talking about, okay? Vocabulary is priority for me. Second priority is grammar. There. Yes. Anyways, they give you... A total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten words, ten vocabulary words per day. So uh, on one side, you could check the words that you know and the words that you just learned. So on the next page, they have a full Korean uh, paragraph full of the vocabulary words that you were shown earlier, and underneath it, there's a translation in English of what the paragraph is saying and on the opposite side there are activities so you do across uh what is it a match called, yeah match each korean word to its english translation and then you have a crossword puzzle at the bottom and then on the next page you just fill in the bank i said fill in the banks fill in the blanks of uh what you just read and yeah this book is really good when i was studying korean actively I was picking up uh, vocabulary words like hey, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I want to talk about the Korean verbs guide. I really hate verbs if you couldn't figure that out. I'm just like, <laughs> please just let me be ignorant. <laughs> just kidding. Anyways, uh, with these books, they were a set, so they came together like this. Um, this is the Korean Verbs Guide Volume 1 and Volume 2. It gives you general rules of verb conjugation and Korean conjugation. Yeah, I said it right. I don't know why I was thinking of church, you know, when they say congregation. Weird. <laughs> and yeah, it gives you like formality levels. So like I mentioned earlier, John Demel, Banmu, what can you say X, Y, Z to? Who can you not say that to? So for the verb that Talk To Me in Korean focused on, they talked about gata, which means to go or to leave. And on the other side of the page, they tell you how to say gata in a present tense, past tense, future tense, slash guessing tense, present, 
progressive tense way. So uh, for present tense, kata would be gayo, past tense would be kasoyo. And then they give you imperative ways to say it. So like kaseyo, gayo, ka, kara, kara. Oh my god, if you guys are like OG K-pop fans, if you even listen to K-pop fans, if you're on my channel, Big Bang, gotta 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 go. That song slapped, okay. Hey guys, sorry about that. So my uh, camera died, but back to what I was saying. So this uh, isn't really a book, it's more of a language study card and it's by Tuttle Publishing. It's called the Korean Vocabulary Language Study Card and it has a bunch of Korean vocabulary words. I think it's quite essential. They even have the alphabet chart in the back. Please show. Okay, there we go. Uh, so they break down everything uh, into uh, categories. So they have daily expressions. So like, 안녕하세요, nice to meet you. Chorong, uh, 반갑습니다. They give you a bunch of information. And yeah, this language card, I got this off of Amazon, is really um, cool to buy, especially if you plan on taking the topic. <laughs> I can't talk today. It's really good if you're trying to take the topic exam, which I would recommend. And yeah, that is all for today's video. I hope this was informative for you. I hope I inspired you to study some more Korean. I just inspired myself because your girl about to start studying again tomorrow. I need to catch up on my Korean because your girl Rusty, you heard me stumbling. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time and I'm sure and I'm serious You will see me next time because I'm gonna I have time now. I can do that Okay, so yeah, I'll see you guys next time until then. Bye